Hi friends, we just finished all the check-in, um, putting our luggages and everything, and now we're in the duty free area. And as you can see, James is here, and I'm here. I'm extremely tired. We only had about uh, maybe three hours sleep last night. So there is like Dior, Estee Lauder, and all these duty free stores. But we're not gonna buy anything because we're gonna buy stuff oh, in Japan. A oh yeah, there's a biscuit. <laughs> It's a big Oreo biscuit! <laughs> we just saw these earphones in duty free and they're really pretty. We're currently waiting for boarding and we have five minutes before we board so I'll show you guys what's in my bag. I have my little backpack here and it's a Harajuku backpack. So I'm trying to blend into Japan when I bring this. <laughs> And I can see to hold the camera. So I'm not going to take everything out because it's going to take forever to put back. But a lip conditioner like this is stress relief, just in case you get headaches or anything on the plane. What else? A handy mirror and my skincare products for the plane in this big compartment. And I have this bag for it. If you guys saw this bag, like the first time I saw it, I have no idea what it is. But then I came home and James, I asked James and he immediately know what it is. It's basically the back of a female body with a bikini top and obviously the bottom. In my experience. <laughs> <laughs> and inside I have a moisturizing spray and we have to keep these in these plastic bags because when they do the... Um, what, what is it called? The security check. Yeah, the security check or the boarding security thing. You need to put it in a bag like this. So a mist, a moisturizing mist from Clinique. It's a sample version again. And I have my little SK2 in a little bottle because I don't want to bring my big thing. And some other essentials. Something to clean your face with, really important because if you're going, if you're going on a 10 hour flight, you really want to feel clean. Also have a moisturizing mask. And I have some other moisturizing stuff for after I clean my face. So I'm bringing my hydrogen on. <laughs> it's on an angle right now, but yeah, it's okay. Um, and also my Vita B cream, um, Vita, Vita cream B12 for, for moisturizing again. And also finally I have a pimple cream because I'm currently getting a lot of pimples on this area and also my chin area. There's one that really hurts so I want to put this on when I'm on the plane. A little comb just in case I fall asleep and wake up with horrible hair. And a, a little eye cream like this. And it's again, it's a sample so it's easy to bring along with you. And finally, I have all these random little samples I just stuck in my bag because um, I'm really proud of what I thought, you know, I have these samples lying around, I have to use them one day, so I thought, you know, I'll pop them in my bag and if I feel like it, I'll use them. This is from Shu Uemura, it's a moisturizing emulsion. This one is from Shu Uemura again, and it's a white epicent. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And this is another white epicent. And this last one is this Chanel, um, I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's an advanced winding essence. And all this is able to fit in this little bag. And when I was going through um, border security, I was, um, I was randomly picked to do an explosive test. And the, the guy wanted to swap everything in my bag. And so when he looked in, when he looked at my bag, he goes, you're traveling really light. So he only swapped a little bit. It's the first time I got picked. No, I know why they stopped us for so long. Why? It's got a huge bag of liquid things in it. <laughs> Yeah, it looks very suspicious. Yeah, the, but there's nothing in it. The guy was looking at, staring at the computer yeah, for five the minutes. Was staring at my <laughs> the, the screen when the, my bag was going through the screen, and he stared at it for I think like 20 seconds, and I was waiting for my bag for that long. And I thought it was my shoes because whenever we travel, it's usually my shoes get stuck. Last time when we went to China, I had my UGG boots and it got, um, basically they scared something in my UGG boots and then they had to go to further checking and I, sat, uh, and I sat there for like 10 minutes just to wait for my shoe to come back. I have no idea what's in my shoe but they stopped me for that. 
So that's pretty much the cosmetic item in my bag that I'm bringing on to the flight today. And we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Morning. Our flight is actually delayed by, I believe, around an hour. So the outside just looks like that. And I find that when you come on the plane, they make you walk through all the different classes. So first is business class, and I believe here it's economy. Um, premium, yeah, first is first class, and then it's business, and then it's premium economy. And I feel that walking through these is kind of like the olden days in Titanic, where they go through the, each level, is how the top is like all these really rich um, businessmen, and you go down, and then all these levels, so you get to see everyone's seats. So we're on the plane now, and everyone's still boarding. We'll get back to you later. during the Hong Kong flight when we got to Hong Kong um, the, pirate, the pilot actually was this close to allowing me to see the, like, the control room they with already, all the different buttons they already allowed yeah, you yeah. but you didn't have time to yeah go. yeah they, they allowed me they were like oh come on come on in and then like the lights started moving so we can't go in but I was really excited because they were really nice so we met in the hotel and it's about uh, 10 something here at the moment uh, one thing is we don't have our luggage uh, due to the delay in Hong Kong our luggage is still in Hong Kong so we get our luggage tomorrow so it means tonight there might be some difficulties of us changing clothes yeah, but the guy was really nice <laughs> yeah yeah the guy was so nice I swear he's like oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry Japanese people are the nicest people in the world and he was saying oh I'll wait for you there and it's just so nice it gives you a really welcoming feeling so I look forward to getting my luggage tomorrow and possibly doing some um, shopping tonight maybe grabbing something to eat because when we're on the plane we can't That's we can't one. eat yeah James wants to eat something on the plane I can't eat anything so um, we're hoping to grab something to eat and also seeing what's in the hotel if there is any um, like bath towels and stuff or else we need to go out and buy as well so we're heading to the hotel now Oh yeah, we'll see you outside. So we're on we're on one of the shuttle buses from the airport to our hotel. So another funny thing is when we were leaving um, Hong Kong airport, we were going through customs again. They were scanning through our bags and they stopped James's bag because it had my bag of facial goodies and they were <laughs> yeah and they were saying oh there's a lot of metal stuff in here what is this stuff and then they were pointing to a pole on the x-ray scanner and then it was my um my massage bar which looks really suspicious so <laughs> and then i don't know because because the next thing you know like james grabs up this and maybe also this so i'm like okay <laughs> But yeah, we came, we went through a ride. And then also these ears and also my Hello Kitty glasses grabbed a lot of attention. When we were going through Hong Kong, um, yeah, these ears, we were going through Hong Kong, uh, the customer, the guy was trying to stop me. He was like, oh, you have to stop, come, come back, come back. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm running for like a connecting flight. 
so I, I didn't wait for him but he kind of let me go because he kind of can tell that I look legit I just am wearing stuff yeah. okay so we're heading into a tunnel now we'll see you back in the hotel so we just checked into the hotel we came downstairs to grab some food and we're actually in the 7-eleven and James got really excited because there's all these different um this ramen there and these triangle sushi triangle sushi <laughs> Not sure what they're called. Yeah. And um, yeah, everything's so cute here, even for the 7 Elevens. Check out these earphones. Oh, it's so cute. And 7 Eleven has a makeup stand. This is too big, guys. So we just got ramen. We came to Shinjuku Station. And James got that ramen. Look how small compared it is to mine. Mine's the more size. Yeah. We just ordered the ramen from one of these vending machines. So how it works is you put your money in obviously and then you press what you want. We just went off by picture because we didn't know how to read. And then you give the, the little card that comes out of there to the um, shopkeeper, shopkeeper and then they'll make the dish for you. So it's really fun. So if you guys come to Japan, don't be afraid of these vending machines. Really easy to use and the shopkeepers are really friendly at helping you out.